got back from therapy. Now we're about to get the car washed. I did take out the side louvers right here. And we do have a bunch of tape right here, which I'm gonna work on. And then it did take some of the paint off, which I'm not happy about. As far as uh, side louver goes, I'll probably uh, repaint them and put them back on or just buy a different one. So right now, currently, I did remove some of the 3M tape from here. Um, I was doing it with the drill, but the battery died. So right now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually going to sand it. I got 150 grit sandpaper here. Uh, before I do sand it, I'm gonna uh, check online to see if this is a good or a good uh, grit to sand this for. And if it is, I'll start sanding it. All right, what's going on guys? So as of right now, I've actually finished sanding these uh, window scoops, as you can see. Um, there is black right here, but this right here uh, is not like removable or anything. I did keep sanding, uh, I did keep sanding it, but it didn't come off. And I got these edges right here. And this right here is kind of deep, but I kind of um, got it got it smooth, so it's not a big problem. I got the inside right there as well. Same thing with this other uh, scoop, as you can see. Turn around, I did remove all this double sided tape, and this is just some some uh, rubber from the decal removal but i did remove it and you can see all the way around same with this one now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint it right now for the paint i am using rust oleum 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 i think it's, that's how you pronounce it but i got right here i got the black one and it is gloss it's not matte I got the black one gloss then i got my clear coat right here which uh i'm gonna use after i hit it with this one then we're gonna hit it with a 400 grit sandpaper which is like really smooth like tomorrow maybe in the afternoon i'll go ahead and sand it with this then i'll hit it with this scratch removal remover i was gonna buy the 3m scratch remover or the i forgot what the other brand is called but the other one but then this one was the one that they had at home depot i bought all of this at home depot for 35 bucks so this is what i went with i'm i don't know how good it is but i'm gonna try it on the scoops so i guess i'll find out how good it is then i have my wax which i'm gonna use to seal the what you call it the scoops <laughs> just finished uh with the window scoops i think i've been painting them for about two hours already and i finally finished so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all right so here we have the window scoop they're not dry yet so that's why it's still like kind of shiny now as you can see it's a decent job uh you know i'm not a professional or anything at this so i try my best um the trickiest part was getting the inside right there painted um i did get it paint it pretty much except for like the corners right there which i don't really mind because nobody's like gonna be looking at that part but i did cover them pretty good now the second one is right here i did like let me see if i could get it uh right there on the left side like right there on the right side around there you can see there's like little dots of there's little dots of paint right there and the reason why that happened was because when I would spray it, that's why I took off the gloves. Because when I would spray it, the paint will, or the glove will touch the paint and it will like just start doing like drops. So I took them off. I'm gonna go ahead and let those dry. Currently it's about 10 p.m. So, hey, relax, relax. It's, it's about 10 p.m. right now. So then tomorrow around, I'm gonna say seven or eight p.m. I'll go ahead, uh, clean it up again. And then I'll go and spray the clear coat layer on it. All right, guys, what's going on? So it's currently the next day. So, so far, the paint's been drying. I want, I know for sure more than 10 hours. So it's currently like dry right now. As you can see, it is dry. The only problem from yesterday was um, I had to go back and return the other clear coat because it was a peel off or peel easy. I forgot what it's called, but it was a peel off uh, clear coat, which was like plastic dip. It was like rubber. And now I got uh, this clear coat enamel. Uh, I got enamel because the black paint is enamel, so I wanted to keep it enamel. Um, I also returned the, what was it called, Dr. Scratch. 
and I got me this one right here. The reason why is because the doctor scratch wasn't a rubbing compound. It was more like a, just like, I guess you could say, just to remove the scratch. It wasn't like a rubbing compound, like I said. So I returned it and I got this from um, AutoZone. It was about $12.99. And I also got this Aguirre clear, uh, Cleaner Wax. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a layer of gloss black since this one is already dry and the uh, clear coat won't stick that well. So I'm gonna clean it up real quick and spray a layer of black gloss. And then uh, after that one said, like, probably like 15 to 20 minutes, I'll go ahead and spray the clear coat and let's see how that goes. All right guys, so I just finished wet sanding the window scoops. Um, here, I'm gonna show you one of them. All right, so here's the first one as I showed you guys on the last clip where the clear coat had like a couple cracks on them and stuff. I actually went ahead and wet sanded it with the 400 grit, like I told you guys. And there's no more cracks on or on the clear coat. I do have these pots right here, but that that's kind of deep. I will go ahead and um, buff it with some uh, rubbing compound as well as polish it with some wax. Uh, but that will be after a week because on the clear coat or the spray can of the clear coat, it says to at least allow one week for it to uh, dry before doing any buffing or polishing so i gotta wait a week all right so first of all don't mind the balloons there it was recently my birthday but here we have the window scoops it is dusty just because but you guys can see uh i've been letting it dry uh thanks god and none of it got stuck to the paint but here we have the window scoops as you guys can see there is a slight orange peel right there and throughout this whole thing and then here is the second one all right guys, so right here we have uh, the window scoop. I'm already done polishing and waxing that one, but I wanna show you guys real quick how it looks. So, so far with this one, I've only done the compound and as you can see, it looks hazy and it's not really shining. Well, that's what the compound does. I already wiped off all the excess compound um, that was left on that. And like I said, it's hazy right there. And then right now I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but right now I'm going to go ahead and wax this one. All right, guys. So as you can see here, we have the scoops. I polished and waxed them already. But here we have them. Um, they're pretty shiny, even in person. It's like really shiny. Uh, here's the other one. Now I did. Let me show you guys. So I did go ahead and put the 3M tape on them already. Um, I was kind of worried because I didn't know if I if I was gonna have enough. Uh, first of all, I just did one on both sides. Then on this side, I did one, and I wanted to get at least two, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna be enough. All right, guys, so right now we're gonna go ahead and install the window scoops. I'm gonna set you guys over there, and I'm uh, just gonna clean it up with some alcohol and then put them on, so let's get it. We have the finished product. As you guys can see, it's actually a good match. Like. Oh, oh damn, <laughs> I almost fell back. Like if I put it side to side, as you guys can see, you can't really tell that one is spray painted with spray cans. So we come through here, you could see, I mean, compared to it, this one is like more like a mirror. This one does have a little bit of orange peel, but you can't really tell unless you're like really close like I am. Right from here, it looks pretty identical as you guys can see. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. So uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do me a favor and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.